Hello students. Today's my topic is on structure of the neuron and we will discuss in detail about the structure of neuron and what are the differences between the exon and dendrites. Now in my previous lecture we have already discussed about the neuron then what are the types of neuron. Okay. So let us start. Neuron is made up of three parts. Now cell body, dendrite and exon. Now dendrite and exon that form the process of neuron. Now dendrites are short processes and exons are long processes. Now dendrites and exons are usually called no fibers. Now before discussing about the structure of the neuron, we also know about the location of the nucleus, ganglion, tract and nerve. So the aggregation of the neuronal cell body located inside the central nervous system that is known as nucleus and an aggregation of the neuronal cell body located outside the central nervous system is called a ganglion. Then the compact bundle of the exon that are located inside the central nervous system that is known as tract and compact bundle of the exon located outside the central nervous system that is known as nerve. Now this is the structure of the neuron. You can see very well centrally there is a nucleus and this one is soma or perikaryon and this is a short process and that is a dendrite and this one there is a exon and this one is a long process and around the exon there is a myelin sheath. Now initial segment of the exon that is known as exon hillock and you can see very clearly in here in exon hillock this nissel granules are absent. Okay. Now in soma or no cell body here there is a nissel granules are present. So in soma that gives a spotted appearance because of the presence of nissel granules and here centrally placed is nucleus. Now in exon hillock and exon there is a absence of nissel granules. So dendrites can be very clearly differentiated from the exon because of in exon there is an absence of nissel granules and in dendrites and soma there is a presence of nissel granules and because of the presence of the nissel granules the soma that has a tigroid or spotted appearance and this below this figure you can very well see about the dendrite soma and myelin sheath exon. Okay. Now the scientist Kezal that provides us a very detailed description of all the cell types associated with neural structures and strongly advocated neuron theory. Now we will learn about the no cell body. Now no cell body is also known as soma or perikaryon. It is irregular in shape and may be round, stellate, pyramidal or fusiform in shape. Now like any other cell it is constituted by mass of cytoplasm called neuroplasm which is covered by cell membrane. The cytoplasm contains a large nucleus, nissel bodies, neurofibrils, mitochondria and Golgi apparatus. Nissel body and neurofibrils are found only in the no cell, not in another cells. Okay. So you must remember nissel body and neurofibrils that are only present in the no cell, not in other cells. Now about the nucleus, 
each neuron has one nucleus and which is centrally placed in the nerve cell body nucleus has one or two prominent nucleoli now nucleus does not contain centrosome so that the nerve cell cannot multiply like other cells now which morphological feature of the neuron indicates that the neuron does not undergo mitosis so the soma or body nerve cell body that contains most of the organelles present in the typical cell except centriole which is necessary for mitosis so that the mature neuron cannot undergo mitosis okay now what is mitosis and meiosis so you have already learned in your primary education about the mitosis and meiosis and i will discuss very briefly or what are the differences between mitosis and meiosis and these are the figure about the differences between mitosis and meiosis so in mitosis there is a one division and in meiosis there are a two division now in mitosis there is a same number of chromosomes and in meiosis there is a half number of chromosome and in mitosis the they are identical to parent genetically and in meiosis that are different from the parent genetically and uh, here there is a two daughter cells are produced and in meiosis there are a four daughter cells are produced so this is a very brief about the mitosis and meiosis now about the nissel body so nissel body or nissel granules that are the small basophilic granules that are found in the cytoplasm of the neuron and that are named after the discoverer now nissel body that are present in the soma and dendrite but not in the exon and exon hillock nissel body that are also known as tigroid substances since these bodies are responsible for the tigroid or spotted appearance of the soma after suitable staining so dendrites are distinguished from the exons by the presence of the nissel granules under the microscope now nissel body these are a membrane structures that contains ribosomes now ribosomes that are concerned with the synthesis of the proteins in the neuron and proteins that are formed in the nerve cell body or soma that are transported to the exon by the exonal flow number of the nissel body varies with the condition of the nerve now during the fatigue or injury of the neuron these bodies are fragment and disappear by the process called chromatolysis so what is the chromatolysis so the process by which the nissel bodies are fragmented and disappear from the nerve cell body and that are due to injury or during fatigue this process occurs and that is known as chromatolysis now granules that reappear again after recovery from the fatigue or after regeneration of the nerve fibers then neurofibrils so neurofibrils are thread like structures present in the form of a network in the soma and the nerve processes presence of the neurofibril is another characteristic features of the neuron neurofibril consist of microfilaments and microtubules now in certain degenerative disease like alzheimer's disease the neurofilaments proteins get altered and that results in the formation of the characteristic lesion that is known as neurofibrillary tangles so what is the neurofibrillary tangles so in degenerative disease like alzheimer's disease the neurofilament proteins get altered and that results in the formation of the characteristic lesion and that is known as neurofibrillary tangles now about the mitochondria so that are present in the soma and in the 
axon as in the another cells of our body here mito also mitochondria that forms the power house of the nerve cells where the atp is produced then about the golgi apparatus so golgi apparatus of the nerve cell body is similar to that of other cells and it is concerned with the processing and packaging of proteins into granules now about the dendrites so we have learned about nerve cell body then about dendrites so dendrites is the branched process of neuron and it is branched repeatedly you can see here this is a dendrite and dendrite may be present or absent and if present it may be one or many in a number and dendrite has nissel granules and neurofibrils now dendrite they transmit the impulses towards the nerve cell body this dendrite they transmit the impulse towards nerve cell body and usually the dendrite is shorter than axon now this one is a axon and that is a long process now dendrites often look thorny due to numerous minute projection called dendritic spines that are present on their surfaces you can very clearly see in here on the surface of the nerve cell body there are a minute projection that is known as dendritic spine and it has a neck thin neck okay so the spines are the site of synaptic contact connected to the main shaft by the thin neck end this is a thin neck end ending in a more bulbous head and each spine form at least one synapse so here this is a also a figure of structure of neuron centrally placed nucleus and this one is a nucleolus and spotted appearance of nissel granules this golgi apparatus this one is a dendrites then these are thread like structures are neurofilaments long process that is a axon around the axon there is a myelin sheath and initial portion of the axon that is known as axon hillock and this is a initial segment now during the synaptic transmission the calcium concentration rises in the spine and the thin neck of the spine that prevents the rise in the calcium concentration in the spine from spreading to the main shaft so increasing the holding capacity of dendrite now whenever uh, in which sa uh, in which condition the spine decreases in number so spines decreases in number after the deafferentation or nutritional deficiency and exhibit a structural changes there is a changes in the structure of the spine in the aged and in individual with the certain chromosomal abnormalities like triosomies 13 and 21 so in which condition the spine decreases in number so spine decreases in number after the affrontation or nutritional deficiency in that condition there is a structural changes occurs in the aged and in individual with a certain chromosomal abnormalities like priosomies 13 and 21 then about axon so axon that is a very long process of nerve cell and each neuron has only one axon dendrites are many in number and axons are only one an axon arises from the axon hillock of the nerve cell body and it is devoid of nissel granules in dendrites there is a nissel granules are present but in axon that is a devoid of nissel granules so because of the presence of the nissel granules the dendrites can be differentiated from the axon 
एक्सोन एक्सटेंड्स फॉर ए लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस अवे फ्रॉम द नर्व सेल बॉडी एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट एक्सोन व्हिच इज अबाउट 1 मीटर एंड एक्सोन ट्रांसमिट द इंपल्सेस अवे फ्रॉम द नर्व सेल बॉडी नाउ वन क्वेश्चन इज दैट which part of the neuron is called spike trigger zone so the part of the axon between the axon hillock and the beginning of the myelin sheath that is known as initial segment now in response to the various synaptic inputs on the dendrites the axon hillock and initial segment that gives rise to axon potential and hence are together called the spike trigger zone then another question is that what is the holding capacity of the neuron and why is it high in the dendritic spine when do the dendritic spine increases in number so dendrites often look thorny due to numerous minute projection called dendritic spines present on their surface and the spines are the sites of synaptic contact connected to the main shaft by thin neck and ending in a more bulbous head and each spine that forms at least one synapse now during the synaptic transmission the calcium concentration rises in the spine and the thin neck of the spine that prevents the rise in the calcium concentration in the spine from spreading to the main shaft so increasing the holding capacity of the dendrites and spine decreases in number after deafferentation or nutritional deficiency and exhibits a structural changes in ejet and individuals with the certain chromosomal abnormalities like trisomies 13 and 21 then what are the differences between axon and dendrites so first of all axon is a single long thin process of nerve cell and which terminates away from the nerve cell body while in dendrites dendrites are multiple short thick and tapering process of the nerve cell which terminate near the nerve cell and second difference of the axon is that axon rarely branches at the right angle but ends by dividing into many fine processes that are known as axon terminals and dendrites are highly branched and their branching pattern forms a dendritic tree and axons are devoid of nissel granules and nissel granules that are present in dendrites and the nerve impulse travel away from the cell body and in dendrites nerve impulse travels towards the cell body Okay thank you very much